and millions are still talking about the rare 4.8 magnitude earthquake that hit near New York City yesterday morning. It shook buildings and really surprised residents, but thankfully left little damage. Here's Bradley Blackburn with the very latest. From coffee shops to couches and in front of live cameras. Is this an earthquake? Yo! Millions near New York City were unsettled yesterday. By a rare East Coast earthquake. We saw the buildings moving and everything, though. It was kind of scary. At Yankee Stadium, center field bounced during batting practice, and the Statue of Liberty rattled. This is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast occur in the last century. The quake hit at 10:23 in the morning and was felt throughout the region, from Boston to Philadelphia. Did you feel that? Officials issued a temporary ground stop at several airports and began checking infrastructure for damage. Experts said the quake wasn't powerful enough to pose a threat to most buildings. The main force, especially for tall buildings in New York, is wind, not earthquake. As long as they last through a windy day, there's no problem if especially a small earthquake like the one today happens. On Broadway, this shop was printing up T-shirts almost as soon as the shaking stopped, declaring, I survived the NYC earthquake. We just thought it would be kind of a joke to put in the window. The epicenter was actually 40 miles from New York City near Reddington, New Jersey. The quake damaged a historic site dating back to the Revolutionary War. In Newark, New Jersey, a handful of homes were evacuated due to structural damage. The USGS says there's a risk of small aftershocks for up to a week. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. So the first question we asked after this were, could we feel aftershocks. Could they feel it? Well, some were recorded Friday night. The USGS says more than 40 million people may have felt that initial quake.